Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we work with Sable model using Grass GIS and Python. Okay, let's go. So in few words, the surface energy balance algorithm for land is used to predict some hydrological features like evapotranspiration, water depth, etc. The main creator of Sebo is Professor Bastiansen, and his method has been validated under several conditions for different locations. Please find reference, more information about it. Around three years ago, I wrote a code to run Sebo, and I still find one or two emails every month asking some doubt about the script. Unfortunately, I cannot answer all. Thus, I will try in the post and video to explain how to run the script. Okay, what you need? The basic requirements that you need is a computer with 4 GB of RAM and i3 processor, operational system Debian 11, Ubuntu, Mint or similar, Python 3.7 or plus, and PIP, Grass GIS 7.8 or plus Landsat 8 images and DM digital elevation model from Aster and some files from repository. So now we will work step by step to achieve our goal. Let's go. The first step is download files from repository. So you can Access this page in this address. You can find it in the description. Okay, so go to this page, click and download zip file. You can save the zip file in your download folder. Okay, I already have one, so I can I will not save again. Once you have made it, go to your file manager, go to download folder, open the zip file, here again, you find five files. What you need? We need this one and this one. So now we will create a new folder. I have one here. My folder is okay, it's ready. I call Sebo tutorial, Sebo underscore tutorial. And I unzip it, this two file here, okay? This one and this one. Just drag and drop in your folder. Okay, so now we have the script and a file, a text file with some packages that we need to install. Next step download Landsat 8 images and DEM, digital elevation model from Aster. I have all the Landsat images. I have the my MDT. Always that I speak MDT, remember that it means DM, okay, digital elevation model. Uh, there's a detail here. It's very important. I will show for you. I will open TGIS just to show for you. So here is my MDT file and here any Landsat image okay oh here maximize okay note that the Landsat 8 image is bigger than MDT symbol in grass processing we just will calculate for this area here 
it means only for the MDT file area. All the processing, calculations, layers is just for this area, okay? We will not calculation for our Landsat 8. So, Grass has a feature that provide this method to calculate. So, make sure that your field, your farm, your anyway, your, your study field is covered by the MDT symbol. If you have a computer not so powerful, you can cut the MDT symbol as you wish. Okay? I hope you understand, but you keep in mind that the MDT file must to cover your area to study. Okay? So you made two steps. Okay? We have files from the repository and we have uh, downloaded Landsat 8 and EN or MDT file. Um, and don't forget, okay, you must to rename your MDT for this name. Rename like exactly like this MDT upper score uppercase, sorry, underscore, S, uppercase, E, B, A, L, lowercase, dot, T, I, F. Okay, I can delete this one, will not use now. Okay, another file very important is the one, is Landsat metadata, okay, don't forget this one. And don't change these names from Landsat, please. You can put this one is from Landsat as well. This one is a personal file, it doesn't mean nothing for now, for us. Okay, next step. We need to create our Python environment. We can install all packages in your computer, but it's not a good practice, okay? So we we'll need. So now we will create our Python environment. Um, my environments, my Python environments, um, they are into a high folder. So go to your file manager, okay? You don't need to put in a hide folder. I just put because I prefer, but you don't need. All my Python environment are inside in this folder here, dot virtual .ms. So here I have several Python environments. So inside of this folder, you don't, remember you don't need create a dot virtual .ms. You can create any one as we wish, okay? But here, I will create a folder. I will call van underscore sable, okay? So here, I have this folder. It's empty for now. To create the Python environment, there's a lot of ways. I prefer using a simple way in a terminal, but feel free to do as you wish. Okay, uh, let's go to terminal. So now I'm going to vent sable folder. Okay, in my case is dot virtual vents here. I will list. Okay. I can see all my Python environments. I go into then several and the I list now it's empty. Okay? So I return for one folder before 
clear the screen is Ctrl L or just type clear okay and now we will create our our Python environment let's go to do to do this just type Python tree dash m vamp and the folder okay vamp save press enter okay it's ready we just created our python environment if you look inside in this folder here vamp save this is a, the python files it's okay it's ready once you have done it now we need to activate our environment how we do this just type source in this case is dot slash vent save being activate yes note that the this name okay this pipe environment is here our always this name must show up here what it means it means that we are working in our Python environment all the packages that we install will be inside of this in Python environment okay now we have our Python environment loaded and we will install some necessary packages to install the packages there is a lot of ways but I will work in a simple way just type pip free install dash r and we now we have to type the path to that file that we downloaded from repository i show for you what file is is this one here so if you don't know your path i mean the files path just prepare properties look here this is the location this is the file name okay we have to type this path and the file name in the terminal let's go to terminal so in my case it media it the back tutorial requirements and press enter collecting packets installing it look like good perfect okay successful install all packets okay you can clear the screen now I will test one of the packets just in case okay to load python in terminal just type python3 so now we are working in python3 from our python environment okay and i will load a package so one of the packs that we just installed so i will type here from whereas session import session uh, okay spelling okay 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 it's perfect no error we can close python i believe that other spec it's it's okay as well but you can feel free to test all of them check checking the script all the packages that we need but I, I believe that's okay we just close python we are in terminal shell now again 
and look here it's mandatory you have to see the Python environment here don't forget this please okay all the packages is okay now we have to go to our work gear or folder now we have to go to our folder with Landsat image okay so I will type in my case my name okay I will list all the files yes perfect I can see all the Landsat files MTL it's a metadata to Landsat my MDT file and of course the script right here. Sounds good. 